So in this video, we're going to be making a new ha uh, handle for this hatchet. As you can see, it's a little bit broken. So first thing we got to do is get the rest of this handle out. I was already working on it earlier, so here's some of the pieces. What I was doing is just taking this punch and hammering it in here and splitting the wood. And then you can... Uh, Pull it out of there with the needle nose pliers. There's a chunk. Oops. I don't know if you can see what happened there, but uh punch into workbench. Oops. So here it is, mostly cleaned up. Probably just gonna grind this off right here. Got most of the rust off. I'm probably gonna put some oil on it so it doesn't continue to rust. Um, so yeah, now we gotta make the handle. About that way. About yeah. That. Yeah. About that. You want to measure it? Yep. Measured. Yep. All right. So now that we got this piece cut, we're gonna. Be, this is oak, by the way. I'm actually gonna make the handle a little bit longer than it was. Probably about. I don't know that much longer. Seems about right. Okay, so that's the shape. So now I need to get the draw knife and start carving. So I'm just marking this so I know how much to take off. So now I've got my marks. And I know where to shave off the sides so they're, you kind of see it's about the same width this way. Um, so yeah, now I just gotta take off all this. I might use the saw, that would probably be easier just to cut down the length. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Alright, so I've got it cut down to width. That this thing wasn't square. On this side it was an inch, and this side it was an inch and a quarter. So, I took off about a quarter inch on this side. And then I just left this side how it was. I just used the drawn out.
feels like a hatchet now. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at the moment. I may have just ruined the handle. I was using the draw knife and I took a... I was trying to take a chunk off of here. And... That happened. I've decided I'm just gonna... Leave it how it is. And just trying to get it... Just keep going. Because... <clears throat> it's not that big of a chunk. In the hatchet, it'll only be, like, right there. So, I'm just going to start being more careful and try to get this done. start hammering the head on a little bit and then you'll see the wood start to like I don't know curl out and then that's where it, that's how you know where you need to take off more wood so and the head just barely sits on there so you got to uh, work your way into it Get it lined up and then hit it a few times. And then you can see right here on the back, the wood started to curl a little bit. So I got to take off the back and on the side here. And that's about it. So I'll do that real quick. this time so I'll show you what's going on here in the vise the handle is level the head is not big problem what am I gonna do about that um I don't know it's not even close As you can tell, I'm not a professional. <laughs> it's my first time doing this. Starting to look much better. Getting the uh, head further down on the <clears throat> handle, which each with each uh, time I put it on, curve in the handle, or the how the uh, head was twisted. I've mostly got that taken care of. Still a little bit twisted, but uh, it's getting better. So, here we go. Alright. 
got it cut. So now we're gonna put the head on. So I got my wedges ready. Just gotta put glue on them and hammer them, hammer them in. But first, we gotta sand these off both sides with the bench grinder and then sand the handle. Looks much better now. All right, so this is the head. We reprofiled it a little bit, got the edge um, like sharper and less steep. So here's what the edge looks like. And the back is all chamfered off. Now we're gonna put the wedges in it and put the handle on. Actually, we're gonna sand the handle first. All right, now we're getting the wedges in, so. Step one is glue. Lots of glue. Okay. You want to put glue down in here too? That would probably be a good idea. I'll get a piece of wire. Now the head goes on like that. thing so it's in there really good. One of these. That looks pretty good. It's the finished product. The head, the head sits on the handle really nice. Chokes out pretty good right there. It didn't seal perfectly or didn't I don't know. There's some gaps. But I don't think it's gonna get loose or nothing, so. Feels pretty good in your hands. Old handle. Alright, I'm gonna mask off the head and then we're spray and then I'll spray the handle with polyurethane. So I'm just gonna use duct tape. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll spray it. Right, I'm just gonna add some polyurethane. This is what I'm using. It's not ideal because it's interior, but it's what we got, so.
right, so here's the finished product. The handle isn't super straight, but it's whatever. I mean, first time doing this, it's not going to be perfect. All right, it's a little bit dark out here, but this handle I made from scratch. I didn't record it because my phone died, but it ended up cracking right here when I put the uh, wedge in. So I just put some screws in it and hopefully it stays. And then this other one, the handle broke. So I put, uh, we just bought a new handle. I didn't want to make another one. And then there's the fitment up there. And then also, this is a boy's axe. I made the handle shorter. So it's just a different type of axe. Do some smaller, like more detailed work with it. Here's all three side by side in the light. Now, this axe is much, much better build quality than my hatchet because for two reasons, the oak is much harder to uh, work with than the... Uh, what, I don't remember what wood that is. So it's much harder wood, it's harder to carve. And also, I really didn't know what I was doing here. So this handle is kind of sharp on this edge and the back edge. And on top of that, the hatchet doesn't sit flat. It's kind of um, ang angled a little bit, so it, it's not perfect. But other than that, I'm really happy with how all this came out. Here's the top of this again in the light. It came with um, the regular wooden wedge down the middle and then two aluminum ones that are smaller that go sideways. And then this one I just used this circle wedge that we, that this axe originally had in it um, before the handle broke. But this, this axe just needs polyurethane. I'm not going to record that because you saw me do it on the hatchet. It's nothing interesting. All right, well, that's all it, there is for this video.